One final point on the Pygmalion effect. Understanding the Pygmalion effect sheds some light on what happens in workplaces where leaders are leading people who are different from them. The point behind the Pygmalion effect is that when you believe in somebody, you treat them differently, and that helps bring out the best in their performance. Guess who we tend to believe in? Guess who we tend to gravitate toward? We, as human beings, this is everybody, naturally tend to gravitate toward people who think like us, look like us, and are like us. From the perspective of the Pygmalion effect, that means that we are most likely to believe in subordinates as leaders, so direct reports, who are most like us. When we layer diversity, equity, and inclusion onto this understanding of the Pygmalion effect, you can see how when we're not checking our own possible biases and preferences, how we can slip into preferencing and believing in the people who are already like us, as opposed to being sure to believe in people even when they are not like us, they do not look like us, and they do not think like us. So again, as a leader, as I always urge, check the way you think, check your preferences, check your biases at the door, and make sure that you are giving your best to your people so that your people can give their best to you.